Hi everyone, welcome to Kitu Blogging and in this video I will show you how you can add a data table to your WordPress website using Elementor. As you know there is no table blog in Elementor so you need to use a add-on plugin for that. So let's check how you can add a data table in WordPress. So here in this video we are going to use two different plugins so you can use whichever plugins best suited for you. So let's start the video. And by the way, if you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button. So all I have to do is go to WordPress dashboard here. And here as you can see that the Elementor plugin is installed in our website. Now to add a table block, we need to use a plugin. So I will go to plugins, click on add new. And here I will search for table add-ons for Elementor. And here you will see this plugin table add-ons for Elementor. So let's install now. So you can also use this add-ons like element kits add-on or essential add-ons to add a table, but it comes with a lot of blocks. So it is a heavy plugin. So if you just want to add a table to your Elementor site, then you can use this simple plugin, which will only add the table functionality to your Elementor website. So let's install this table add-on for Elementor. And next we are going to use a different plugin for adding a table to our Elementor site as well. So let's check how we can add table using this plugin. So I will just go to post here and I will add a new post here. And let me just name it title like table. Now let me just publish this. Now I will click on edit with Elementor. Okay, now the Elementor editor is added here. Let me just add a table here. So what I can do is I will click on search wizard here and I will simply search for table. Now you will see this block table using that plugin. So let's drag it here. And as you can see that the table is added here. Now let's check how we can add the headings and add the data in this table. So here you will see two options. One is table header, one is table body. So by default it is created two header. So if you want to add three column, then you can simply click on add item here and it will add the third table heading like this. And you can change the table heading by clicking on here. So let's say I want to set it like name and let's keep it as capitalized. Now in the second heading, let's set the text to something like age and let's in the third heading, let me just add like phone number like this. And as you can see that we have added three columns. So if you want to add more columns, then you can click on here and here you will get the fourth heading like this and you can change the data as well. Now here you will see this advanced settings here and here you will see this option call span and you can set it like call span like this. And you can also set the custom width for this. So let's delete it for now. So I will delete it here. Now let's click on table body. Now here, as you can see that there is the table data under the name, age and phone number. So let's click on add item here. And now it will add a table data for phone number as well. Now how you can create a next row in this table. So for this, I will click on add item here. And as you can see that by default, it is adding to the right section. So for this, you need to enable this new row option. So it will move to the new row and then you can add two more row here. And then again, if you click on add item here, it will again add it in the right side. So you need to click on new row here. So in this way, you can add multiple row in this table. Now, what if you want to add a more uh, column outside this uh, table? Then you need to click on table header here. Let's click on table heading here and let's change the table data like email address. Like this. Now let's click on table body here and let's click on add data here. And as you can see that it is adding table data here. So what's if you want to re add this data? So for this here, this there is the one, two, three. So I will click on here and I will duplicate it and it will add a table data like this and then one, two, three and here I will duplicate it and I will add the table data like this. So in this way you can create a table 
in Elementor using this table add-on plugin. And here you can see advanced option here as well, like column span, row span, alignment, text alignment to center or left or right alignment. So you can play around this. You can change the decoration to underline, overline, or you can change it like line through. So here you will get a simple table functionality in your Elementor using this plugin. Now let's check how you can change some settings here. So let's click on style here and you can set the inner table padding. So let's say I want to deselect it and let's say I want to add a top padding of 10 pixel and I want to add a bottom pixel of 10 pixel like this. And you can also set a right like 10 pixel and in the left section let's add it like 10 pixel. So you can add a padding like this and you can change the header styling here. So here the text color is black. So let's change the background color to something like this and let's change the text color to something like white like this. And as you can see that the heading color is now changed and you can also set a body style as well. So let's change the background color of the body here like this. And you can change the text color as well. And you can also enable the stripped background if you want. So let's change the stripped background color like this. So if I add a one more row here, so let's go here and let's add one more row. So let's click on here. And as you can see that there is this stripped line showing here. So let's add a new row here. And as you can see that it is adding strip line one after the other. So in this way you can modify the table styling as well. And you can also make it as full width. So just click on full width and it will set the, and it will cover the entire screen and set a full width table for your website. Now let's check how you can use the second plugin to generate table in your Elementor or in your WordPress website. So let's go back here and let me just leave it here now. Now let's go back here. Now let's deactivate this plugin. Now let's click on add new plugin here and simply search for table here. And here you will see this option WP table builder. So you can use this plugin both with Elementor or both with Gutenberg as well. So you can use it in both cases. So let's activate this plugin. Now you will see this option WP table builder in the left side. So let's click on all table here and here you need to click on add new to create the table fast. So you can name the table like suppose I can set it like database table. And let's click on blank here and let's click on generate. Now as you can see that it has now created a single row single column table. So you need to click on manage cell here and we need to add a right column like this. So as, as you can see that it has created two column and you can add some bottom rows as well. And as you can see that the table is created. Now if you want to add more column then you can simply click on add right column here and it will add a right column for you. And you can add a bottom row as well. Now here go to settings and here you will see some settings like you can set adjust the cell padding so by default it's set to 10 pixels so you can increase the cell padding from here and you can set the table alignment to left center or right you can set the table content max width and you can sort the table vertically or horizontally and you will get some pro version in global font style and you can adjust the border table border you can change the table border color as well and you can apply it to inner border or header inner border. So let's close here. And as you can see that it has applied to the outer border as well. And, and you can close this and it will deselect from the inner border like this. And here you will set this option to horizontal scrolling. So it will add a horizontal scrolling for this table. Now you can enable sticky and you can enable pagination and search functionality in pro version. And you can also disable the theme style for your table. So most of the theme has the table styling built in. So if you want to 
disable it then you can disable it from here and you can write your own custom css for this table as well and you can set a tags to remember the table which categories or from which post the table is using then you can set a tag and remember the post as well now here you can set accessibility settings like you can set the table role to table so it will add at a table code in the backend instead of deep table so let's click on elements here and let's add a fast heading here so let's set it like name and again age and let's say mobile number now sets let's add a name here let's add the age here and let's add a more random mobile number like this and as you can see that the table is now added here now you can also insert images to this table so you can simply drag it here and you can add a images from your media library as well so let me just choose this image and as you can see that the image is now added to our table and you can also add a button here like this like you can change the button text here like call now and you can add a link to this button as well and you can set a button id if you want and here you can add a link to this button as well and if you don't want this element then you can simply delete it as well and here you will also get the list functionality here so let's add the list here and you can add list in this format using this table so this table has more functionality than the previous plugin we discussed in this video and you can also add a star rating here so let's say you want to add a star rating here and you can set it like three and half star and you can add this like ratings or you can add a new column here and you can set this as ratings and let's delete it and let's add the rating block in the fourth and let's add it five star and as you can see that our table is looking quite good so you can insert images star ratings you can insert short codes or you can even write your custom html code in this table so let's click on save here now if you want to use this in your site then you can simply click on embed here and click on copy to clipboard now let's go back to the dashboard here now let's go to the post let's click on add new let's set a table title here let's publish this click on edit with elementor and let's click on plus and let's add a short code block here as well so we'll click on plus search for short code and I will drag the short code block like this and I will paste that short code here and as you can see that the table is added but sometimes some of the widgets are not showing properly so let me just update it and let me just see the preview changes and as you can see that it is looking quite good in the front end so in this way you can add a table to your wordpress website using elementor and if you are not using elementor then you can directly add this short code as well so let me just go back here let's click on new post here and let's set it like table and let's add it using gutenberg so i will simply search for short code and i will paste the short code like this now let's click on publish and let's view this post and as you can see that the same table is added to our Gutenberg page editor as well. So in this way, you can add a table to your WordPress website using Elementor. So either you can use the table add-ons for Elementor or you can use the WP table plugin for that. And if you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button. And to learn more about WordPress and blogging, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.